Hello YouTube! Flashlight Enthusiast here. Today something completely different on my channel because Xstar asked me if I could test their newest charger, the SC1 Plus, that can accommodate even protected 26800 batteries. So I'm pretty excited to test this one as additionally it has the power bank feature. So Exter kindly sent this one to me for review and test. Thank you so much for that. Also included the USB wall adapter. So I have a complete set to test this one. Let's find out what it is. So we've got standard Exter package with clear plastic covering the product. And on the rear, we've got main specifications. So as you can see, this is the type C input with three amps max. Wow and a constant current of 3 amps or 2 amps. It can also act as a power bank with 2 amps discharging rate. Looks good. The most excited part is actually 26800 Leon batteries. As you know, this is the novelty on the market and there are quite little chargers that can refuel those type of batteries, especially in quite fast rate. So I'm pretty excited to test this one. Let's go. So in the package, we've got the XSTAR SC1 Plus charger. We have the quality USB to USB-C charging cable. We also have the protective rubber band to secure the batteries once it is inside for the power bank feature. Last but not least, we also have the user manual hidden between the cardboard in multi-language, so I'm pretty sure you'll find something for yourself. There's also an included USB wall adapter that XSTAR kindly sent to me with the charger, but it is not included in the standard package. So this one is a standard USB wall adapter with Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 technology. So this would be your typical XSTAR charger. Build quality is, as always, quite good for, for such a price, and I wouldn't fool you guys i use x star chargers a lot and because they are quite cheap well made also provide a reliable current to your batteries uh, this one is probably my favorite x star pb2s with the power bank feature but also a portable charger so what i do here is just put in two samsung 40 40ts just as spares for my, for example, Fireflies E12R, but I also can charge them directly in this one and it takes 21700 cells and 18650 batteries. It's so much convenient. And I think that this same principle could be applied to the SC1 Plus. It can also take regular 18650, 21700 cell, but if needed, you can also charge your large 26800 batteries like this queen battery here all right it is still not that popular on the market but i think it will become because as i mentioned in other videos this one has a great capacity to size ratio almost 7000 mAh in such a compact size not much bigger than the 26650 battery with only around 5000 mAh capacity so that's kind of huge and this one could easily accommodate this this battery or even larger uh, with protected circuit. Okay, so it was specially designed for those larger batteries. Uh, and with this in mind, we have three amps charging. I checked this one uh, with multiple batteries as I'm not a professional charger reviewer. I have limited access to the equipment, but what I could done, I've tested. So as you can see, we also can plug the battery in and use the included rubber strap to secure this one inside the charger and can act as a power bank. So let's see if it works. As you can see, the external USB-A port acts like an extension. You plug the power source USB-C here to the charger. It can charge the battery, but at the same time, it can transfer another power to another source. However, when you unplug it, you can still charge other source from USB-A port from the battery that is inside the SC1 Plus charger. The power bank charge level will be indicated here. All right, so put the battery in, shall we? Let's start with the QB26800. So we put it in, and as you can see, we've got blinking blue LEDs indicating the charging has started. All right, it's quite straightforward. 
as you can see the charging started around 0.15 amps and ended at 2.6 amps and it took me around three and a half hours all right so let's see what other batteries show all right let's plug the flat the charger in and start with the ace bin 21700 battery 5100 milliampere hours again charging has started by the sequence of blue leds and as you can see we've got similar charging vo uh, amperage start and 2.3 amps similar results with trust wire 5000 million per hour battery around 2.5 amps charging at peak bright night 3000 million per hour with 2.5 amps so it happens that i also have the original x star sc1 charging with me so similar packages you can see uh let's open this up and show you the difference so the basic one is obviously the size as you can see uh, it is substantially longer. First generation, the SC1, it was the micro USB charging port with 2 amps input. Here we've got the USB C with 3 amps input and also the USB A for output to function as a power bank. It is also important to note that this SC1 Plus charger can activate the zero volt batteries, which is extremely handy if you by accident happen to discharge your Leon batteries completely. All right, so let's go to the forest and show you the windshields of the SC1 Plus charger. All right, summing up, I think what Xstar did with the SC1 Plus charger is a fantastic move and true game changer on the market. Not only can you at last charge your 26800 batteries, if you have one, with the 3 amps current, so quite fast and much faster than other chargers on the market in this segment, but you can also have the ultra fast charger with a power bank feature with extremely compact form factor, suitable for traveling and on the go charging. I think this is a fantastic opportunity. Uh, for every user that needs such functionality we have a 3 amps charging and quite fast discharging rate so obviously this is a well-built charger very compact but with true nice functionality also can charge nimh batteries which is also a nice addition uh, i might be cautious with those lower capacity uh, leon batteries because 3 amps might be a little bit too high current for them and as you've seen charger does not distinguish between different capacities so bear in mind that this one is ideal for higher capacity and higher discharge rate batteries but for lower i would be a little bit cautious but apart from that excellent charger really uh, so if you're interested in this one especially for such a budget price then definitely make sure to check out the link under the video uh, this is brand new charger so definitely check this out i finally can recommend this one to you so guys if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section down below hit the like button hit the subscribe button for more videos to come and to support the algorithm of this channel thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one